Hey everyone, Lane from Lander Bay Fishing. Just come down to uh, Sean Cliff today. We're at Cabbage Tree Creek. I'm going to do a spot of flathead fishing. Over the next couple of days, I've got really short sessions because I've got to work each day. But uh, do a couple of short sessions. Hopefully, I'll catch a, uh, a flathead between I don't know, 40 and 55, and we'll have a bit of a cook up. We're going to try peanut crumbs. So we'll give that a shot. See how we go. Gear we use today is just a, uh, a normal Shimano cheap stick, three to five kilo, a little 2,000 size, I think it's 2,000, 2,500 size Stratic. Got five pound braid with a, uh, that's about an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm gonna change this over, this is just a holding hook. Change this over to a, uh, a quarter ounce jig head with a uh, soft plastic on it. Just quickly run through the knot. Because it's quite a heavy, heavy jig and a heavy soft plastic, I don't do a loop knot, just a standard uni knot through the bottom, then back up through the lock. Pull that down gently, don't force it because that line will heat up and weaken the line. Come down, it just starts to curl around. When it starts to curl around, bring it up. I like these, see the, uh, these jig heads here, headlock jig head, pay just a fraction more than the normal jig heads, but soft plastic goes up in between those two bits of lead there and, and it locks. So you can give it a good hard flick when you're flicking for flathead. Throw a bit of S-factor on it. So I cast it out as far as I can, let it get to the bottom. And just hop it back. It's fairly shallow through here, it's probably only a metre and a half, two metres deep, so fairly shallow hops, not very violent, just enough to work the lure. And we're on, oh, it feels like a good fish too. Nice, oh, I haven't got my net here. That'd be right. Oh, I've dropped it. No, but it just swam with me. What have we got here? Oh, yes, a nice flood, exactly what we're chasing. This will be breakfast today if I can get it in. I've dropped him. Where's my net? Had I had the net, had I thought about bringing the net down? This was in the truck. That's what we want. We just want him five times bigger. That'd be a good 15 centimetres, that one.
probably scored a little flatty for our catch and cook. That one goes 41. So unfortunately for him, it'll be breakfast. I'm going to cook up the flatty we just caught. Uh, as you can see here, it goes about 40 and a half centimetres. Poor little bugger. So he's breakfast today. Um, the legal size for flathead in Queensland, 40 to 75. The reason I cut both sides off so I can break that tail and get the knife under it to, to skin it. So first fillet. There's our waste. There's your two fillets. Bones out of the middle. Now I've got salt water just here, so I'll just drop it in the salt water, give it a nice clean. So they've been cleaned in salt water, they're boned and they're ready for crumbs. What I do now is throw a bit of salt on them and I'll throw them in my esky with the ice for five minutes while I just do the preparation. So I'll throw them in my esky. So a few breadcrumbs, some flour, that's for the egg, Here's some nuts, crush these nuts up, and it doesn't matter if you haven't got all the little, all the, the big ones broken up, as long as you've got enough in there, I've got more than I need in there so I won't go too crazy. So once they're done, that goes in with the breadcrumbs. So once you put it in with the breadcrumbs, mix it around a bit. So you got quite a good texture in there of nut and breadcrumbs. Two bits of fish, probably only need one egg. But we'll throw two in. So if you've got a fork, just use a fork, you can use anything at all. We've just got our fish back out of the freezer. That salt's taken a lot of the moisture away from it. Straight into the flour. Then into the egg wash, then into the crumbs. We put this back into the fridge. And that'll help keep all the crumbs together when we fry it. Now if you've got oil, you can use oil. I like using butter. Easier to carry than a big thing of oil. So a reasonable swag of butter. Let that heat up, it'll melt down. So we take our fish back out of the fridge and it's ready to cook. Pan's just a little bit small, but it does me. Now you don't need to let these cook for very long at all. Probably about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. And it's ready to Turn, so I'll just take them off the flame for the moment. Uh, turn the fish about another one and a half to two minutes on this side and they should be beautiful. That's pretty much done. Nice golden brown on that side. Throw a bit of lemon on. Lemons to your liking. There you have it, beautifully cooked peanut crumbed flathead. There's only one thing left to do and that's to eat it now. Bon appetit. Hit that like button, subscribe, 
and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Mm. Same safe now.